guys long time to see especially since i forgot to post the last video so you will find it on my channel and then this one around the same time hopefully <laughs> guys I'll, I'll be working really hard to post this before the first of summer because this year i want to do vlog pass yes you heard me i won't post a video every single day but i want to post a recap at the end of every week so we'll see so where i've been well at work and it's been difficult like really really difficult and also then my dear beloved cat passed away and uh, and yeah uh, that that was it <sighs> and it's still hard because i miss him i love him i always love him and and yeah <laughs> so you know uh, actually knitting and crocheting when you experiencing grief it can help because it grounds you it, you have to think about it and it's it's grounding you in reality it makes you think about something else and I, it helped but I wasn't having as many creative ideas as usual obviously but before that <laughs> um, I did spend my summer trying to finish things and I had a hard time because of work I compensated by buying buying many books <laughs> and many yarns so we, we go through that and you will hear noise though because recently I rescued a cat um, I went to a pet rescue a local association and um, uh, I am a new cat and uh, she's helping me as much as I'm helping her I think uh, she was abandoned she's a girl she's named Frida and uh, she was named by the rescue I love that name she's a fighter so she's helping me <laughs> and maybe she'll do an appearance but yeah that's the noise in the background anywho uh, back on track books many books the power of knitting by Loretta Napoleoni she's Italian but she wrote this book in English and it was translated in French it's a lot of reflection you can really feel she's a journalist uh, when you read her it's a lot of facts uh, but also it's personal and there are a few pattern but I didn't purchase it for the pattern it's mostly to see someone's view on knitting and I it was a good read and my grandma really enjoyed reading about it because it is um, Loretta is not retired but she's is she's 50 or 60 maybe you know she's closer to my grandma actually my grandma is 80 she's not 60 so. but it she talks about her own grandma and you know my grandma loved that part so if your grandma likes to knit maybe she will enjoy this one could be a christmas gift I purchased finally after seeing many time uh, knitting in 300 um, points it's it's not points in English I'm sorry uh, what do I have the English name of this one no I do not because <laughs> it's an English book but I cannot find the English title that's where it should be at the beginning or the end but sorry you can see this was really well prepared but you've probably seen it it, it gives you a lot of um, stitch 300 and all they're done and I'm gonna use it for my advent calendar this year yes I want to do many swatches and then put them together for a project 
So every day you can follow me on Instagram from the 1st of December, from actually the 30th of November to the 24th of December and see which pattern I drew and what color I used. Because I purchased, like yesterday, I went to my favorite knit shop and I saw this. They are uh, 20 minis, so not 24, 20. So I'll do 20 swatches and on the other four days, I'll find something, don't worry. Um, and they're of cotton and aloe vera. So I'm just gonna show you the black ones. They're... Why do cats always like to go into the digital box? The moment you record, I'll send you to do that. <laughs> Frida, t'as fini? Yeah, she's finished. So they're 25 grams and 60 meters, so 66 yards. I should do a swatch actually to know how big my squares will be because I want to do squares and I want them to be the same size. And they can be knitted with two or three millimeter needles. So, yeah, and they buy Tilgar. And they are um, sell, sold as a set. And I saw that and I knew. I knew because I was contemplating using swatches. Uh, swatches. Uh, um, oh, the word escapes me. Scraps. But no, I. In love. <laughs> hey girl, you coming? Okay, she's shy. Purchase this one, becoming a knitting expert. I read her first book, uh, which was I Start Knitting or something like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> and what's the English name? They don't tell you, but I think it's an English book. It's by Lisa Taylor. She has a website, so you know, check her website. And I love the way she explains things, and I love the illustration, the pictures, you know, so I just picked it up and bought it. Then, on the same day, I got three books about Jacquard, and I still haven't started Jacquard, but I've got this one, which is colored, um, 670s, Jaka and 200 Jaka patterns and then really nice thing about these books this book sorry is that they're free to use in any of your project the author gives you authorization to use it in any of your projects and to publish it uh, she has some pattern but all of her pattern 200 of them um, motifs I will say, are free to use. So that's really nice. And there's some really fun modern one, like with a zombie and there are a lot of, lots of animals and hello girl. <laughs> so Frida loves the camera too. That's nice. Can you show your face? That will be so much nicer. <laughs> but yeah, I've got those three books and I've read all of them and I'm still a bit intimidated by Jacquard, but my scraps are going to be used for this, hopefully. <laughs> so that was my purchase concerning books, and there may be some others, magazines maybe, but yeah, sorry, um, there's one more and I don't have it with me, I'll be back. Okay, so I thought I knew where it was, but it's not, so it was a chilling children patterns book and i got some lovely yarn that is not here you always think you're ready and then you realize you're not <laughs> can't find the book but i can find the yarn i wanted to knit a little jumper for a friend of mine for a son who is not even a two years old and i was like oh it's gonna be so nice because it's gonna be a quick project and I picked up this yarn, which is big, it's knitted with five millimeters knitting needles. But 
I convinced my grandma to start knitting again. And she did, and, and she whipped out that project in no time. She didn't want to try the curl needle. She was a bit afraid. I think she's gonna love it, but one step at a time. And she complained about her hands hurting. I was like, you can do it five minutes, 10 minutes a day. And she did for a week. I did not get the chance to sit down with her and we could knit together on a project. Well, each of us on one, but still. So I just saw the finished product and I have to ask my friend for a picture because we tried it on and it fits him perfectly. It's so cute and I'm so happy my grandma really, she told me she really enjoyed knitting again and she was able to finish her project which is something I still have immense trouble to do. So let's actually review my summer. First project was unexpected and I finished it. So that's awesome. It was not planned at all, so maybe that's why. And it's somewhere around here. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> it's this little guy and it's so bright. Um, so it's a free pattern, I'll link it below and add this leftover, leftover yarn and I didn't realize it will make such a big chick. It's huge. <laughs> I wanted to use him at work to put my needles because I work with needles, no, sewing needles and I just stick him on his head that's why he's making that face because he usually has a bunch of needles on top of him. And he's, he's the cutest and people really know <laughs> I did it. it. It fits my personality, you know? Um, and sometimes I'm taking him on my machine because I use a sewing machine. It's a red one, it's round. They're like, oh, the one with the, the cheeky, the cheek, the cheeky. Oh, do you call the baby chick a chick with the chick? I'm like, yes, that's, that's the one I'm working on. So, it, he comes with me at work and I look up from my machine and I see him and he brings me joy. So I'm happy. It was a really fast pattern. So that was nice. Then I did a little bralette for a friend. She purchased the yarn and it's not there, obviously. And she got me two balls of this beautiful red yarn and I used only one. So she wanted to pay me or like, no, my payment is I have enough to make myself another one. So that's great. And I'll get to it probably next year. Then I had to finish him. And I did. He has finally his little tail. That was what was missing from him. And also he had this really cute little floaty that I did. But he doesn't fit his arm. So I made it with a bigger hook and it doesn't look nice at all. It fits, but it looks terrible. So I didn't bother making another one. It's, it's okay. It's just gonna have one, a big one and a small one. And it's gonna stay like that. At least it has his little tail and is finished. So, so happy that this one is done. What happened during summer? Oh yeah, I started a top. Uh, I told you about the yarn, and I got as far as finishing the two panels, and I just have to do the straps and join it, join the back and the front. And guess what? It's so close to being finished, but no, it's not. And also, the yarn is so tangled, and I did swipe, not swipe it. I did warmed it up because I finally got a yarn winder I'm so happy I thought it would be superficial but no I've been using this a lot and I just love using it it's so fun um so this this project has not finished I also randomly started a corset and did not finish it and I don't even know where it is Oh, as long as that. And then as um, an order, someone asked me to do this and she paid for the yarn. 
I started another amigurumi pattern by Yan Shengul and it's Ada de Lem and I have to put in the yarn and I have to sew her tail and then she will be done and she's been in that state of being so close to being finished like this other project so close and yet I cannot finish it I tend to overanalyze myself a lot I mean I see a psychologist and even he tells me to stop analyzing myself so much but me not finishing things is not something I want to analyze I'm like oh that's just me I'm not gonna dig on that I'm probably afraid of what I'm gonna find but yeah <laughs> but I have to finish this because she wants to gift it till January or February so I will finish her she's adorable I mean it and it took me only one bowl of uh, this yarn so yeah one bowl you can make up that really cute lamb so do it do yourself a favor do the lamb she's adorable and that was my summer <laughs> so I did purchase more yarn I purchased uh, a blue one two purple one and a pink one a pink one probably to make a piggy sister but i ended up not using it and i was probably because i i was able to do that bralette like, with only one of those i got one in blue i've got two in purple to make a bigger top and i got two in white and i'm making the cold sale with it but i'm sorry i cannot find it and then there was a sale all of those were on sale and those were on sale those are from Google Addicts and guess what I have a pattern that used the exact amount of yarn that I have it's a nice cardigan but this this is cotton it is the softest cotton ever and it doesn't look like cotton at all so it's gonna be so fun Oh, I'm gonna love this, but probably for spring. Uh, and then it brings us to my birthday. This was during summer, and my aunt is one of the greatest because she did get me yarn. She got me this book, this book, this yarn by Katya. So it's concept, it's yoga. I got two ball and I want to do a really nice scarf with it. She got me six ball of homemade and one of them is probably gonna be turned into a Christmas gift. And she got me a huge ball, which I don't have because I started something, of cotton yarn that has different colors. I shall keep of it. And she got me a book about bags crochet bags and she's been me sending me pictures of crochet bags so I think I know what to do for Christmas and the book is a Japanese book which I cannot find in the moment so put a picture there all there and uh, that's another book I've got to add to my collection but I did not purchase it she did it's it's so nice and I, I knew it was a Japanese book, not just because of the model, but because they show how to fold your bag when you're not using it. And for me, that was just an origami thing. So I was like, it's probably a Japanese book. And I checked and um, those are Japanese author. At least all their names are Japanese. So I will assume they're Japanese. And then I did purchase a couple things, not in summer, but in November, I purchased some trinkets, uh, trinket notions. So I have more stitch markers and I got those hot stitch markers from Obi. But I will say they're really stiffer than usual ones. You know those. So hopefully they won't break. We'll see. But you know, I had over 
60 stitch markers and I cannot find any of them at the moment so I purchased more. I'm sorry, terrible. Is it because I'm not finishing any project and they're all unfinished projects? Maybe, but also I don't have that many unfinished projects. I don't. Oh, there was another project during summer that I did not finish and that was a bag. So let's add that to the collection. And then we are in fall. And I started things because I love starting things. As well, I picked up an old Amigurumi by Jan Schenkel. This was done in my last advent calendar and I haven't touched it. I wanted to finish it in fall because it's, it speaks fall to me to do a bat. She's gonna, be, she's gonna be so cute, but I haven't touched it. But I had some leftover yarn, so I started another bat. And the poor thing, uh, has one here attached. I met the other here. I met her two wings, and it's she's gonna be a little bat, like so. And she's so close to being finished. But I haven't. I'm sorry. Sorry. What's in there? Okay. Yarn. More yarn. Mm, then I. Oops. Don't touch. Don't touch. No. Arrête. Arrête. S'il te plaît. No. 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 Frida. Frida. Tu vas te. Frida. No. 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 Enlève ton pet. Voilà. So there was yarn that I wasn't using it that I purchased by mistake. I was like, okay, I'm gonna do another project. But I will add it again. And I started a sweater vest and I'm at the back and I kept counting and counting while I was binding off for the arms. And I'm, I'm missing two stitches. I counted and yet, so you know what? I just need to take off two stitches in the collar. That's gonna be fine. I don't know why I fret so much over this. Uh, but because I made these tiny mistakes, I stopped knitting it. That's sad. Yeah. So I'm knitting other things. I am. But they're for Christmas and I want to do Vlogmas. So I'm not gonna share them yet. If I don't do Vlogmas, I will show them during my end of fall, beginning of winter video anyway. Oh, also, this cardigan that I crocheted last year, no, two years ago, I did finish it. Incredible. And for one, I don't like what I did with the sleeves big holes there and it's too heavy the yarn that I use does not fit this pattern which is a beautiful pattern for free online link below obviously so I need to undo it and at first I didn't undo it but now I've got my yarn winder but this yarn uh, is a bit fuzzy so that's not gonna be that fun and the other reason is that um, I folded it and put it on this table and my cat Arsen uh, slept on it, he took a liking to it and um, it's full of cat fur and memory. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I am. Uh, it's okay, the cat fur is not that bad. Maybe it was on the other side, that's why it's not that bad. But yeah, uh, just picking it up, you know. I'm not gonna say sorry for being emotional because that's just, that's just what things are. Huh? I am emotional, I love my cat, I always love him, and now uh, I love my new cat, I love Frida. I don't say new cat, but my other cat. She loves yarns, she does. <laughs> Playing with 
cold on right now as we speak when I'm knitting on my comp shoe. She grabs us a yarn or she lays on the project. So I have to be careful. <laughs> the other day she just fell upon my bookshelf, the one in my bedroom with yarns, the one that has no glass panel in front. And I thought the yarn was really well tucked away in a box, but she, she did manage to <laughs> grab it and she fell and she did not hurt herself, but it was fun for her. She sent balls of yarn flying everywhere. <laughs> yeah, so my whip cart is a mess. My yarn is a mess. My life is a bit of a mess, but I still love knitting and crocheting. It has been helping me and I'm feeling creative again. So when I'm at work and work is hard, I have all these creative ideas coming back to me and I dream of having time to, to knit and crochet. One thing though, my job is a bit repetitive and I use my hands, my shoulder. So at the end of the day, I'm hurting a bit so I can't knit and crochet as much as I want. And I know that pushing through is going to make me feel worse afterwards, but also I just, I love it too much. <laughs> so I'll keep knitting and crocheting and I will be seeing you soon in Vlogmas and have a um, happy season, happy fall, and we'll see each other in winter. Bye.